So the first test I want to demonstrate today is the single leg stance test. This gives me a, a good indication of how the athlete is able to stabilize in through their hip and core. Also gives me an idea of their hip flexor mobility. It's simply placing the feet all the way together. We're going to bring one leg up, keeping that hip and knee at a 90 degree angle. I want to see that they're able to maintain that single leg stance for a 10 second count. I then go ahead and reassess in that same position, this time eyes closed. Again, we test them for 10 seconds. Inherently, you'll see that they have a little extra sway as we take that visual feedback away, but they should be able to maintain that static stance, 10 seconds, eyes closed without compensation. Two of the th compensatory movements that I will see patients having difficulty maintaining that single leg stance, you'll see that opposite hip drop. That gives me an indication that that lateral glute is not stabilizing very well. I'll take a look at the side view and here, if I see them tilting forward, again, that may be a core stability problem, but it also gives me an indication that they might have some hip flexor tightness that we need to go in and address. So do this as a self-assessment. See if you're able to maintain that 10 second stance time. If you're not, we're gonna cover some drills that you can start to perform to free up mobility and improve stability to uh, help for injury prevention during your runs.